I'm Dr. Allison Bandy Kirkhove. I'm one of the medical directors for SIBO Canada and today I'm going to be talking about how to do your SIBO breath test. So first of all when you get your SIBO kit make sure that there is a return label on the outside of your kit. This makes it really easy to ship back to us. Within your kit you should have three pages. One is an intake form with your timetable. The second one is your preparation diet. And the third one is how to collect breath test samples. So all three of those should be in the test kit that you get. The only one that you actually need to ship back to us is the requisition form. There will also be your breath tubes, your collection, 10 of them, lactulose, bubble wrap to put your tubes into when you finished your test and then 10 labels for your test tubes. When I do the test I like to kind of lay everything out so I know I have everything and then I can start the test. First make sure that the day before the test and even if you are slightly sensitive two days before the test you want to be making sure that you follow the proper diet. It is all listed in the prep diet sample. Basically what you want to be doing is making sure that you're eating only meat, salt and pepper, plain white rice, white bread, eggs, cheer, clear chicken broth or beef broth. That's it. You can also have black coffee and black tea. The more simple diet you have, the better your baseline results will be. <clears throat> the next morning when you wake up to actually do the test, what I recommend doing is getting your lactulose ready first. So you can open up your lactulose. It actually doesn't taste too bad. Pour it into a cup. And then you just want to add some water to that. In the preparation, it will say eight ounces of water or some of the preparation says you don't need eight ounces of water. It actually doesn't matter how much water you put with it. Just make sure that you have the water in it. You can also take it straight up if you want, but I find it tastes pretty disgusting. So I just put that aside. <clears throat> then what you want to do is take your first collection tube. You're going to write your name, your date, and then sample. You're going to put a B for baseline. So this will be the baseline sample that you do before drinking the lactulose. You just want to put that on there. And then we're ready to do our first test. So what you want to do is this is your container. There are holes in the bottom of here for the air to escape. That is normal. Also you'll notice there's a little rubber inside. That is normal. You don't remove the rubber from, it, um, from the vacutainer as well. When you're taking a breath, you want to make sure that you're breathing normally, so you don't want to do a huge exhale, so just breathe normally into the tube. Once you're breathing normally, stick the tube in, you're going to pierce it, hold it for two seconds, while still breathing, you're going to remove the tube. So let me show you how to do it. Done. You want to make sure that you are still breathing when you release the um, <clears throat> vial because if you stop breathing before you release it, you're going to get atmosphere air in here and that is not what we want. If you breathe too hard, it's going to get too much carbon dioxide which will also throw off the test. So again, watch me again. So you're going to do a normal breath. There you're done. So after you've done your baseline, you can put it into your bubble wrap. Then within five minutes, we want you to drink your lactulose. So you're going to drink up your lactulose. I'm going to pretend to drink it because I'm not actually doing the test today. And then after you've drank your lactulose, you want to wait 20 minutes from when your lactulose was drank before you do your test kit tube number one, which is your second breath test. And then you just repeat that every 20 minutes until all of your tubes are completed. Once the tubes are all completed, put them all back into the box. 
Remember to put your requisition back into the box as well. And then you're gonna tape up the box and stick it in the mail. And then you should have your results sent to your doctor within seven days. Thank you. Mm -hmm.